That was awesome. That was good. That was great. I love it. Sweet. Love it. You're so easy to All right, right. nice. <laughs> you too. Yeah, I hope this I made great. It easy this was fun. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for listening in to the REC Experience. I'm your host, Jazz Takar, and this is season two, episode 16. And I have with me our executive producer, Laura Stewart. How are you doing today, Laura? I am good. I'm full. Uh, full. You just ate some good food. Tacos. Tacos, guacamole. Te- tacos, tequilas, and tenacity. Tenacity. Is the episode yes. title this week. Uh, for our, our friends watching on YouTube, um, we have not changed our professions. I know we're behind a bar, uh, but we thought it would be kind of cool to shoot uh, on location today at uh, El Loco here at the corner of uh, Front and uh, Church Street. And we sat down with uh, a really, really cool entrepreneur, uh, Paul from Jiffy On Demand. And Laura, it was actually you who brought uh, Jiffy On Demand to kind of our attention because you had to use them this I past week. I did have to. I've used them a few times, but uh, this year, nothing until... This week, actually, I, ne- I needed to use them because my dryer was <laughs> making some weird smells and my clothes weren't drying at all. Yeah. Um, so I, I just went on my Jiffy app and I was like, I need to get someone in here ASAP. Uh, within 24 hours, somebody came and fixed the problem and pointed out some other problems that I did, that I didn't know I had. Some household um, imp- things that needed to get done, yeah, right? Yeah, you know those things that you're just too lazy? Like you're like, I'll worry about that tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. And then he was there and uh, just pointed some things out, easy things to do, very professional. It yep. was seamless, seamless. It, so for the people that don't know what and who Jiffy On Demand is, um, essentially it's an app that homeowners can use. Uh, you can also go online on JiffyOnDemand.com and essentially hire a professional within 24 to 48 hours. So like Laura mentioned, uh, she needed someone to, to, to clean out the dryer vent and fix her appliances, but they have someone that can come to do uh, uh, clean out the, 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 the gutters and the roof, mm-hmm. uh, right to cleaning like leaves and raking leaves yeah, and yeah, shoveling snow, everything, land, like that, everything yeah. right? So they've already vetted out the professionals that, um, uh, that you'll need and it's very easy. It's like Uber and skip the dishes. It's 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 seconds it takes, yeah, Laura. No seconds, seconds, and I had someone booked, and like I said, 24 hours. Someone at my house fixed the problem. Uh, and like I said, very professional. It was and super easy. easy. And easy. Easy, easy, easy. And here's the cool thing. Uh, when you listen into the podcast, uh, you'll, you'll hear our, the founder, Paul, uh, talk about a gift to our listeners. So uh, if anyone does want to try them out or if you've already used them 50 times already, just go on the app. You can find the app on uh, Google Play or uh, uh, in the App Store on Apple, mm-hmm. as well as online. Click the promo button and and uh, punch in REC50, and you're gonna get $50 on your next or first job ever. All right. So, anything else, Laura? What do you? What else has been going on in, in in our real estate world of things? In our real estate world. Yeah, like you know, a lot of people see us now behind a bar, yeah, yeah, and we're talking true. to entrepreneurs. Do not forget, guys, <laughs> that what we really do, our day jobs, um, is sell real estate yeah, and help people. Yeah, buyers, sellers, investors. So you know, this week we actually sold some pre-construction. Conference. Pre-construction, yeah. So we launched a new project at uh, the corner of Young and Eglinton. Uh, f- fantastic location, less than 10 minutes away from the subway. As we've always said, uh, as an investor, uh, if you're looking into invest into real estate, you want to try to get close to transit lines. It's just makes sense why obviously because that's where tenants are going to want to go and when you're looking at a pre-construction uh, make sure to go back to our past episodes uh, buying from a blueprint as well as honey did you call the lawyer uh, because our, our our lawyer friend Sean Dandywall does go through what you need to know when you're looking into purchasing a pre-construction uh, a condo other than that make sure you listen to this podcast share subscribe give us a review if you liked it give us a review and if you didn't, I still want to hear about it, guys. It's how we're going to get better. Thank you for all the support. It really does them, It really does mean the world to us. And cheers to you, Laura. Cheers, Jazzy. We, what are we trying right now? This is, well, I'm having the spicy margarita. And I'm having the non-spicy? Yes. The because right. I've already had a spicy one, so <laughs> I'm okay. So let's try this out. I like this. 
Very good. Refreshing. Mine's refreshing. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't come out to El Loco at uh, Front and Church Street to our Toronto friends, come out, make mention uh, uh, that you saw it on the podcast and talk to Kurt and Mackay, amazing, amazing uh, uh, operators here. And uh, again, give us a review. Let us know what you think. Have a listen. Take care. Paul, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Great to be here. Good. Great. Fantastic. You? Well, fantastic. We're good, actually, good. We're, we're, we're sitting for our listeners who can't see the video. We're sitting at uh, the corner of Front and Church Street at uh, El Loco. And we were talking off here that uh, you're a margarita guy. And so I want to say cheers Absolutely. to you. As cheers. Paula, our waitress, was saying to us, this is a spicy margarita with some habanero in it. I like spice as well. So it's a great combo. That's a good kick, eh? It's great. Like yeah. That. So, Paul, I wanted to have you on today, my friend, because us obviously being in the real estate business, you being, uh, you know, essentially the founder of Jiffy on Demand. One of the founders. One yeah. Of the founders. Um, how many partners do you have? Two. Two. Okay. So, uh, uh, one of the reasons I want to have you on is to talk about all your services, because a lot of our listeners are real estate investors, home buyers, home sellers, um, but a lot of our listeners also are entrepreneurs, and so I love the opportunity to sit down with somebody who started a business and kind of get in their head like what were some obstacles you went through when you were starting the business you have employees how, like what's your tips and strategies on leadership so if you're okay with that I want to kind of delve into let's, it all. yeah let's go so what got you started in business I uh, well when I was in university I started a business okay. um, I was always um, I was always into business, even when I was younger, trying to do you know any type of side business that would be socially acceptable. Um, and it, it it was in university where really the only you know people starting businesses were the were the the party promoters. Right. And I was never a party promoter, but I was envious that they were running this business. They worked on a P and L. They had their marketing. They. Um, I was envious of that, and uh, right. in, in second year university, um, I, along with uh, a partner, started um, a ski trip business. So we would actually run group ski trips uh, for at university, for our university. We built it up to uh, 1,300 people were, on, were coming on our ski trip okay. uh, from McGill by the time I graduated, and we were doing it on seven other college campuses. Was this uh, like online, or was this kind of word of mouth? Like, what, well, what platform were you It was in 2000. Okay. So it was meeting up with people on street corners for 1500 bucks cash and a paper registration form that I made. Um, and by the time we graduated, it was also on seven other campuses. Okay. So uh, we were doing their uh, you know, biggest ski trip weekends. We grew that for seven years after university. And um, we were doing it on, we were probably traveling a little over 7,000 students um, just on their college campus's biggest ski trip, mainly actually from the states, bringing them to Whistler, Banff, okay. Revelstoke, uh, Mont Tremblant, and we sold that business in 2013. Okay. So I guess that's kind of... And so what made you sell that? I just want to kind of get an idea. Like, what, what was it? I think it was an itch to, to try something new, and, and, and there were just things within that business that, um, you know, it was college kids going away for a weekend, uh, the, the, the hotels, the bus companies, you know, the, the, uh, the ski resorts. No one liked us, uh, and, and, it, and it had a lot of, and it had a lot of trouble. So, okay. uh, just the terms were, sure. it, 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 it just got a little yeah, difficult, no, but, um, but it, was a, it was a great, fun business, and uh, it was an awesome experience, and we found a great partner in, um, in a company that ran, runs the majority of high school so grad that trips, for them to kind of that acquired us, and they would then feed all the high school students into the, uh, they made us the college university brand, it was a great partnership, and I was there for a year and a half for the transition, and awesome. it was overall a, a great experience. So now, 2013, you just sold the business, probably celebrated a little bit, had some drinks, and yep. then, yeah. is, is that when Jiffy started? Yeah, that's when I, 
uh, bought my first house, okay. uh, my wife and I, and okay. we just realized uh, what a, what a shitstorm <laughs> yeah. um, it was to get trades for small jobs around the house. Uh, nobody wants to even talk to you if it's a small nothing, 20 minute, $150 job. Are you a handy person yourself? Like, do, do, do I'm you not. Okay, okay. No, continue. no. Okay. Uh, I'll try. Right. My wife and I, as I, as I was well, telling I you before, <laughs> my wife and I have a deal. I get to try <laughs> once. If I screw it up, then we got to order a gym. Like um, <laughs> up on purpose. Probably not listening. Probably not listening. I, no, but I, 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 I hate handy people, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, the, the, the actual moment was um, my wife needs stuff done around the house, like, immediately. Uh, and we bought two light fixtures from a lighting store, uh, asked the lighting store if they had anyone who can come and install them. They handed us two business cards of electricians, called both electricians right away, both went to voicemail, it was Saturday morning, went online, started calling probably 10, 11, 12 companies, uh, managed to speak to two of them. One couldn't come for a week and a half and one just didn't do small residential service calls like that. They did more new builds and stuff. Uh, all the while I thought, if I just pop out to Young Street, I bet you I can flag down an electrical truck. That's driving by. That's driving by that okay. has half an hour to come and install the two fixtures. Right. Um, now, I was too lazy to do that, but I thought there's got to be uh, a dispatching app that I can outfit electricians, plumbers, handymen, gas techs with that homeowners can just say, I need this, and it'll actually just locate them to the, the closest one with availability so that instantly. Was, that's where the idea came from. That's where the idea came from. So neat. Like, you know, I talk to a lot of people about this, that a lot of business ventures and new uh, innovations and new ideas, they're probably just in and around your home. Like, you can come up with so many ideas. You're yeah. sitting around on a Saturday afternoon, can't get a hold of an electrician. Boom. Now, you yeah. obviously execute, we're going to talk about all that in terms of taking that idea and actually executing on it. Absolutely. Ideas are out there. Uh, one of my partners is my brother-in-law, and it just happened when I was, I'd be pitching a new idea every week at family dinner. And this one, uh, my brother-in-law, Jamie, just jumped on. Uh, he was in between business ventures, and he said, we're doing it. Um, and I'm like, all right, you'd be a great business partner. Uh, what's, you know, the first step? And, and him as, as a little bit older of a homeowner, uh, you know, because I thought originally just first-time homeowners don't know an electrician, a plumber, a handy person. Uh, this is a great one-stop solution for them. Uh, but he's a bit more of a seasoned homeowner. And, um, you know, he thought this would just kill it even with um, the slightly older demographic of, you know, it's an issue getting trades to your house for small jobs. Um, and even with the platforms out there, no one was tackling it uh, the way we're tackling it. They all assume that homeowners uh, care to read dozens of reviews, price compare, um, uh, then eventually schedule and have someone and pay them directly, uh, where our, our approach is homeowners don't care who's coming. Now, for those small commoditized tasks around the house, unclogging a drain, hanging a TV, swapping a light fixture, I don't care who's coming. I just want someone pre-vetted, well-rated by other users, and I want to pay a fair market rate for them. Definitely. And because we're not choosing, so we are a true supplier's pick marketplace, very similar to Uber, because you're not choosing who's coming, we're able to instantly match you with the lowest cost opportunity trade. What I mean by that is there is a trade within three kilometers of you that has an availability exactly when you want, and you don't know who they are, but it's our job to have hundreds of them on the platform so that within three minutes on average, we are giving you a guaranteed appointment. So that's that's the tech, like, that's how the technology in the back end works. I guess yeah. the, the, the person that's closest to you, so you live on 123 Main Street. I'm, you know, I've used Jiffy for the last couple of years, numerous amount of times. Thank you um, for your business. And the, the, the service is impl uh, impeccable, it's easy. But talk our listeners through the actual process. So someone is sitting at 123 Main Street, they need to get, uh, um, you know, I'll use actually Laura, our executive producer's uh, example, just from a couple of days ago. Her dryer vent was clogged. Yeah. She had a little bit of a smell in there coming from her laundry room. What would she have done to get that person to come fix it? Kind of walk our listeners through the process. So Laura would just pop on our app um, or website. 
she would select dryer vent cleaning okay. or appliance repair. Okay. Um, and there would be a set rate. So instead of her figuring out how much is it to clean my dryer vent, we've called 30 plus company. We've called 30 plus vent cleaners to figure out what a homeowner in Toronto or or any city right that, that uh, Boston Ottawa what have you sure um, should pay so Laura doesn't have to just blindly be given a price can, can you walk me through that really quickly like how did you guys figure out that price we call 30 companies so so we will Google Toronto electricians we'll go on review base sites and we will get 30 quotes to swap a light fixture we'll get their hourly rate and their minimum to come out yeah we convert that into an easy to read jiffy rate card Perfect. So, dryer vent cleaning, just $150 flat. Okay. That's, a, that's what we've determined at a fair average rate. Okay. Laura would go on, uh, select dryer vent cleaning. She just has three inputs, her address, and when she wants someone, and what she needs done. So that's a straightforward category. She just says, clean out my dryer vent. Um, we immediately start dispatching all the companies in that category that we've pre-approved. And within three and a half minutes, on average, one of them will click accept with a one hour arrival window. She'll see a, a profile picture of who's coming, their, their name, their company name. They can start messaging each other right in the app and she'll get a notification when they're en route. She could say I want someone ASAP within a few hours or you know, uh, Sunday morning. Right. They have to accept within that window and then they're on their way, they do the work. They leave and they just bill based on the rate card. And does that get paid? Like Laura already set up her credit card within. On her first job, just like Uber, uh, she would have put her credit card on and it's stored securely on file. And she'll get emailed an invoice. She has all of her invoices right in her Jiffy app. Um, so it's nice and neatly organized. And the best part is, is that payment's then held in trust for four days. Okay. So it's sitting up there in the cloud. We have yet to transfer uh, the the the. the the trades portion to them. That gives us four days to make sure Laura traded them five so stars. So you're gonna, you as Jiffy On Demand, are gonna be communicating with Laura within that three, four day period. How was he? She'll, yeah, we'll, we'll ask her to rate the pro. If she rated anything less than five stars, we'll follow up asking what wasn't perfect. If she writes in saying, hey, they actually didn't fix the issue and whatnot, Great, your payment's guaranteed. Okay. We'll send someone else back to do it. If they still can't do it, then uh, you'll get refunded. Right. Um, so there's a 100% satisfaction guarantee with us versus paying a trade directly uh, and having to fight with them if there's an issue. Even if there's an issue with her dryer vent six months later, um, that, should, that clearing should last more than six months. We'd warranty the work. We have a lot more to gain from every client than a one-off electrician because we have 36 categories. Right. So if we, if something wrong goes, I don't want to talk too much about jobs that don't go perfect because most of them do, but if anything doesn't go perfect, we bend over backwards to make good on it because we want your business and referrals for every category. Well, look, I mean, you're smart enough, Paul, obviously yourself and your business partner to, to know to think long-term. I mean, like off that $150, you, you, yeah. you can't, you know, you're not rich off of that. Yeah. It's the long-term game of more yeah. word of mouth um, as well well as Laura using you consistently as well, right? For sure. So, so that's the walkthrough with how Laura uses us. And then for, for, for we thought we're solving a huge issue for, for homeowners. Right. Turns out we're solving an even bigger issue for trades. So excited for you getting to this call. Because those trades don't want to field her phone call for a $150 job. Right. And maybe sell one fourth of those people. Right. And then they go there, they do the work, they got to write up an invoice, they got to collect payment, they got to deal with Laura on the phone. I'm sure she's lovely to deal with. Sure. Um, but, I guess I'm upset she's not. But for a, for a, for a $150 job, that is not worth their time either. Okay. What they love about Jiffy is um, they just get pinged alerts all day. They click accept on the jobs they want. If they're busy or if they're out of an area of a job, they ignore it. One of our other trades will pick it up. Right. And it's almost like a queue, right? Uh, absolutely. And it's, and it's based on their star rating. The better their star rating, the earlier dibs they get on jobs, it's more incentive to, to, to deliver great great service um, and um, they just click accept say when they're on their way if they need to chat right through the app and just bill them out after don't worry about payment collection and they're able to just bill they're not dealing with any uh, marketing sales business and men um, accounting after it's really a business in a box solution for these for these owner operators 
And because we're also amalgamating jobs and officially dispatching them to who's where, they're banging out more service calls every day. So we're delivering a, um, you know, what we believe to be a better service, and it's a win-win for for all parties involved. I love the fact that you said that it's a hundred percent guaranteed from the customer's perspective, right? That you they know if the job's not done well, yeah, the trade person's not going to get paid. In turn, the trade person knows that as well. And, right? And you know what? Our, our best clients are just seasoned homeowners that have been burned, that have chased down one-off electricians, um, and that they. They, they, they see that value, and Jiffy's not the cheapest, it's right. not the most expensive. Yeah, if you go on our app, it's industry average rates per category. You and I know, Paul, man, you, you get what you pay for, right? Absolutely, and, and seasoned homeowners know that. The exciting part of what we're doing is that we are getting to be cheaper than average um, because uh, you can go on the app now and it'll actually show you what all your neighbors are doing in your area. So it'll say, so Laura would know or you'd know if you've popped on the app. Yeah. Um, or, um, we'll show you. There's a plumber within three kilometers of I haven't you. seen this. So this is this If new you book, I was going to say, yeah, you look a little bewildered yeah, there, but we haven't, we haven't, did it, we haven't okay, done a good enough job marketing this. No, year. I just haven't seen that. It's neat. Uh, if you pop on the app, um, you can see everything you're neighbors are doing. Okay. Um, if you book that plumber before or after your neighbor, right. you'll save up to 25% off the job. Because those, those plumbers spend a third of their days traveling between jobs. They're happy to offer a discount if a neighbor books before or after their current job. So it's it's now becoming more money in the pocket of trades, yeah. um, a cheaper uh, a cheaper rate for homeowners, um, and it's just, um, as more trades and more homeowners come on the app, yeah. those network effects only increase. For sure. Now I wanna stick with the trades people for a sec, because a lot of my friends, my personal friends, my clients, a lot of our listeners, um, they're, they're trades people. How do they get connected with you guys? Like, What's the process? They, they have to become yeah, we, we, part of your service. We're constantly in need of more trades as we okay. get more homeowners. We, okay. we need more trades. Um, we're, we're careful to match supply with demand. So some categories, there is a wait list. Um, we we want to be a big part of each trade's business. So we're careful not to have too much supply where they're doing one job a month. The average trade bills about $4,500 a month just on the platform. Okay. That's in addition to their regular business. Oh, interesting. Some of them bill tens of thousands of dollars through the platform. Some of them have grown their business on Jiffy. Some are 100% Jiffy. Jiffy, for sure. Um, but um, they would just apply on our website. Right. We check out their credentials, and we get in touch with them. We, if, if everything checks out, they have to meet certain requirements. Um, then we'd invite them to our office for an onboarding session. We have two a week, right. and anywhere from six to 12 companies come in, and we demo the app. We get them set up, they learn how to use it, we go through protocol, um, and that's it. So I'd love for you to, re re referrals are, are the best source of our, our trades. For sure, for sure, you're gonna hear about it a lot. Um, so if anyone's listening that is a trades person, just get in touch with us at uh, info at uh, recanada.com or go straight to uh, Jiffy On Demand. You can you, you can obviously connect through uh, the, the phone apps yeah. and all that, and I'll make sure everyone knows about that. While you were talking about the trades people and, and, and them going into homes, I thought of my mom, and I'll tell you why. Because my mom would be concerned with not knowing who's coming into the home. Can we talk yeah. a little bit from a security perspective? Yeah. How, like, what do you guys do to vet? What does Jiffy do to vet out the, the, the trades people? Because they're obviously going into homes. As, us as realtors, we're concerned about that as well. So trades would apply to come on. It's important to know Jiffy's a platform for companies. This isn't a peer-to-peer -peer gig economy uh, right. style right. Uh, task or app, so you do have to be a legit company right. to, to, to even get through our application process. So what does that mean? You need minimum amount of liability insurance. You need licenses and certifications within your category. Right. If you're an electrician, you have to be a master electrician okay. as the owner. If you are a HVAC tech, you have to you know have up-to-date TSSA, all, all that. Um, you have to be a registered business with an HST number. Then we do our own background check on you where we'll search around, ask you for references, okay. uh, invite you into the office, meet you in person, Perfect. make sure it's someone we would feel comfortable sending to our our our, our, right. our mom's house. And your grandma, right? And then as soon as we click that, if they check all that off, we click approve, okay. they start instantly getting rated by users. Got it. We we quickly see in the first five jobs, yeah. you know, um, did we get any, you know, poor feedback on them? Were they late? Were they a no-show? And we're pretty quick to trim the fat and then bring on a new company. 
Um, so that's our vetting process. Right. Not only are you standing behind the 100% satisfaction guarantee, but even from a security perspective, they're vetted. That's very important, right? Yeah. Like, like I said, as realtors, we always have the question from our own sellers, like when there's an open house, what's going to happen? And yeah. we know that who's coming into the home. You guys always know who's coming into the home. Yeah. Well. This is this is a one stop. You don't have to vet each individual electrician, yeah. plumber. Yeah. Um, oh, I can and, tell you and, all how much time you guys have saved me. It's crazy. Like, yeah, I that's time to call seven people. And yeah. Voicemails and all that kind of stuff. Like, we were talking off air how easy it is to order food now. Yeah. It's that easy to get tradespeople to your home now. Absolutely. And 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 to be honest, being a uh, being the type of marketplace we are, yeah. where where you don't know who's coming until yeah. that job's confirmed, um, and, and I think out of tens of thousands of jobs, right. um, one or two occasions that someone get matched with someone and yeah, got a fuzzy right. feeling and asked yeah. it to be reassigned. Sure. It, it, it really doesn't happen when when That's we such were a low percentage, when, right? when, yeah. when we were starting the business. Yeah. You know, my partners and I said, well, I would be cool with trusting a marketplace to yeah. just s blindly send me someone. Would would everyone else and I think you mentioned before, like what was the first, you know, aha moment? Yeah. One of them was when a random person, you know, our first random person, um, ordered a job, and you know, she, yeah, we spoke. I, I, my partner Ryan's like, give her a call. I'm like, what? Called her. I'm like, what's the deal? How'd you hear about us? And and I asked her. I'm like, so you were cool with just yeah. kind of trusting it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I just need someone. She needed a landscaper. Yeah. No one would come to a one-off job. Yeah. And. Um, she even told us she tried to go up to a, a street a truck on the street, and yeah. it was just workers that That's weren't it. able to do it. Yeah, and uh, and it was a great experience. And yeah. and we have a lot of incentive to make sure that these people are awesome. Right. Um, because that's how we rely on, we, we don't make money until your right. third job on you. Right. Um, so we really, it requires you to use us for everything in the house, right. have amazing experiences, and we feel we do deliver a much better than average experience, mm -hmm. similar to how riding in an Uber is a better experience because yeah. you, as an Uber rider, are representative of their whole business. Whereas you, you're not a one-off client. Sorry, what I mean by that is, if an electrician comes, right. he's gonna do your job, he's gonna try to get in and out, he's yeah. gonna try to make as much money as possible, maybe, because maybe you need an electrician every two years, right. um, and he wants your referrals. But if that electrician is being dispatched to a Jiffy job, he needs that five-star rating. If he doesn't deliver an exceptional experience with zero complaint, then he's gonna hear it from us, right. and he's gonna be on warning, and he may be kicked off the platform, and he may lose 10, 25, 50, 100% of his business. Yeah. So by, by, by representing all homeowners, or representing a ton of homeowners, each Jiffy client has a lot more power than they do Call, 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 calling call. a trade. Trade. Yeah. I want to take you back to you know our talk when you were in college and and, and you had this entrepreneurial spirit. Like from the first time I spoke to you on the phone, I kind of, I knew I was like, Paul, we need to do this. We, we have great to energy. You and it was that yeah. energy, yeah. right? And that synergy we had. But there's people who are listening now that are considering doing something different, or opening a business, or starting an app, or opening a restaurant. But for some reason they can't get over that hump to actually take the action step. What would you tell them, man? What I would say is that I think it's cheaper than ever to start a business now. Building an app, when, when we started, right. we started super lean. Okay. We did not like our first product out there. So, you know, and an MVP, a minimal, a minimum viable product. Okay. We went out the door in six weeks. Right. Um, and our only expense was we hired uh, a full stack developer full time. It cost six weeks worth of sal salary. We had a small little office, and we were out the door with a working web app okay. that we signed up trades and signed up homeowners, and it was working. Okay. So I don't think it needs to be expensive. I'd say test the idea as cheaply and as quickly as possible okay. to see if it works. Right. Um, people who are thinking about starting other apps, I'll talk to, and they have all these features in mind. And I said the only features we had in the beginning was uh, you can put in your address and a one-line text description of what you need, right. and we'll email every single trade that has subscribed, and the trade can click accept, and then call each other and 
tell us what happened. That's it, okay. That, that was the act. But there's something to that though, right, Paul, that you just at least got started. It wasn't what yeah. it is now, three, four years down the road, but it, it, I feel like there's so much value so, in just getting shit started. Like, yeah, so I, I think you need to do it full time. I, I don't know too story. many, uh, I know a lot of people who try to do things on the side, yeah. and two years later I asked them for an update, and it's still, you know, still chugging along. I, I think part-time that's- Part-time effort, part-time results, right? I just think that's a waste of your part of f- free time. I think in, in college, university, it's a great opportunity where you, you do have a good chunk of free time, right? Or, or at least I did. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and just like me, buddy. <laughs> just yeah, like right. you. That sense. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and and that was a great launch pad. My my opportunity. My I had, you know, no big expenses, and, and it was I think a great time. I tell right. anyone in college or university start a business while while you're in college or university. And then I was lucky enough that when we sold the business, we were able. My partners and I said, let's give this one year. Okay. Um, so obviously we're on no salary at of pocket, um, um, you know, not too many expenses, but right. we're we're going out of pocket. We gave ourselves a year to see if this has got legs. I love and, that, like street hustle, man. And, That's and, so cool. And it was a hustle like yeah. that, that. That that was twenty four seven. It needs to work, or or you know, we're we're, we're screwed. Yeah. Um, and we did it super lean. And like anyone we knew, I mean. Even before we started full time, right. I'd wake up early and I'd call trades, okay. and I pretended the app existed. I said, "Hey, Joe, the plumber, um, we're launching an app this summer. Here's what it does. Okay. Would you be interested?" Overwhelmingly, absolutely. What does it cost? It's free. We take a small percentage of every job you build. Sure. Yeah. They, 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 they thought it was a scam. It was so good to be true. Right. It, it was. It was too. I still think it's too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Um, <laughs> But that's how. So we kind of like tested the market while we had our full-time jobs, and then we um, any any person we spoke to, you right. mentioned it before, but like ideas are um, ideas are worthless. Like I bet you there's thousands of people that had a similar idea for. Well, I'm sure there are thousands of people that had a similar idea for Jiffy. We're we're the ones who decided let's execute on this, and we built a team that uh, we we were confident is going to do it. Right. Um, and um, That's awesome. and yeah, like so 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 we really did our, every homeowner we'd speak to, we pitched right. the idea to, and they're like, hundred percent, I'd use it. That's awesome. Uh, wealthy people that we'd speak to, would you invest in this? Hundred percent. Nine out of ten of them said no when we went around to raise a, a friends and family right. round. Right. But um, but now they see it in action now. Yeah, they see they it in see action, lost, right? and they're upset they For missed sure. out. Hopefully. For sure. <laughs> What's the dream, man? Like, what, 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 where, where do you want to see Jiffy in the next five years? I'd love to see it across North America. Okay, that's the. So you guys are in Toronto, Ottawa, and Boston. And Boston. Why Boston? So uh, we plan to go in the states with this. Okay. This is we 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 feel we have a limited window uh, with with our model. Yep. With our approach, there yep. there are other platforms. There's about a dozen other platforms that are designed to connect homeowners with trades. Okay. A dozen notable ones. Um, all of them, save us and a couple others. Uh, take that approach that the buy we're, we're going to present information to the to the buyers. Um, so in the states, Angie's List and Canada Homestars yes. are, are, are good, great review based sure. sites. And I think those are actually great platforms for large jobs around the house. Okay. If I'm going to finish my basement, renovate a bathroom, um, it's thousands of dollars. I'm going to want to read reviews. I'm going to take the time to get multiple quotes, meet them in person, pay directly with one of them. For sure, cool. But for same or next day under five hundred dollars jobs around the house, yeah. um, they're all trying to use that same solution yes. for these under $500 jobs. And we say that experience is awful for wanting a plumber same day. Well, you unless you have half a day. Unless right? you have half a day to yeah. call 20 plumbers. Right. Um, our app does that for you instantly, yeah. and it's because we have a preset price. Right. You're not choosing who's coming, yeah. and it, it, we have a managed marketplace where we've done the pre-vetting. Um, and, and we're we're excited to tackle that, right. and we want to get into as many U.S. cities sure. and Canadian cities where we feel it'll work. Right. Um, and Boston, Ottawa was our, our test market to see if we can get this marketplace running. So Ottawa's, in a, well, Ottawa's uh, Ottawa, was before Toronto? No, nope. okay. Tor- started with Toronto, and, yeah. we, and we used Ottawa as as 
as almost a, a pilot to see can we duplicate this marketplace Got it. In, in another city. Right. It was close uh, to Toronto. We have a lot of con. We, we, we had hundreds of users in yeah. Ottawa that signed up just from maybe some national press coverage in the early days. Okay. Okay. We had dozens of, of trades trying to sign up. Yeah. Um, and it was, a, it was a cheap, quick way to see if it worked. It worked. Then we went to Boston and said, can we make this work in a large US city? Right. And it's, it's, it's rolling along in Boston. Boston's a perfect market for it. And yes. Boston is just, you know, has our target users, which are um, tech, savvy. tech savvy, you know, younger homeowners. Right. And by younger, I don't mean, you know, late 20s, early 30s, you know. But people who use Uber, if you use Uber, you get how Jiffy works. For sure. Um, yeah. And it's very neighborhood focused. We're, we're big in Toronto in certain neighborhoods ah, okay. where you'll see Jiffy lawn signs, you're, you'll talk about it at kids' school, you'll see us in the Facebook groups. Um, Whereas some neighborhoods maybe haven't heard of us, right. and Boston's very neighborhoody, oh, um, and those are the cities we'd go after. Right, right. Okay. So, for my listeners, what can we do for them in terms of an incentive? Because I want to get you as much as value as I can, buddy. Because I know you're busy and you still make time for me. I hope you like the drink. We're gonna have some food this after is this as well. Um, so I really appreciate. Of course, your time. I appreciate you. Before I appreciate we get you off, having I know. Uh, sorry, before we get off uh, off air, we were talking about what we can do together from an REC and Jiffy perspective. Um, what are you okay with? Yeah, let's do REC 50. Gives any listener 50 bucks off okay. their first Jiffy job. Awesome. Um, and even if you're a current user okay. um, and, and you haven't ordered a job yet, which okay. for some reason a lot of people sign up and don't sure. book a job. Yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> but um, guess, but yeah. throw that code in, 50 bucks yeah, off your first job. That could be on the app or online. App, app or online. Just, How do they get to you, man? Uh, download our app in the App Store. Okay. So in, in the Google Play or, or uh, the iOS uh, or the, the, the App Store. App Store, yeah. Um, or or online at JiffyOnDemand.com. JiffyOnDemand.com. And click in, figure it all out, like the example we use for Laura, um, the tradesperson you need, and then put in the promo code REC50, and you'll get 50 bucks off on your first job. That's it. And if they're a uh, if they're yeah. a trade, yeah. uh, they, oh, they, sure, yeah. they just click become a pro okay. in the top right corner. Yep. Yeah. And in their profile, just say, you know, you heard about us, say any connection they have to the podcast, to the podcast yeah, because awesome. we actually only do invite people into our office when um, they're in need in that category and, and how um, how good they checked out on our in our algorithm. Yeah. So we'll make sure to obviously prioritize those trades as, good, um, as good referrals. Paul, thank you so much. This was great. I appreciate you having me. For sure, brother. That was awesome. Okay, Thanks, sweet. Buddy. Cheers, buddy. All right. Cheers. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Good? That was awesome. That was good. That was great. I love it.